understand your conversion options. Converting online traffic into dollars is not as straightforward as you think. A lot of newbie marketers are under the impression that if they buy traffic and enough of these users click on page after page, eventually they will land on a conversion page, read something that they like, and then whip out their credit card. If only things were that simple. Believe me, if that's your strategy, you are probably going to be settling for cents on the dollars, assuming you make any money at all. The better approach would be to study what kind of conversion strategy works best considering whatever it is you're trying to sell. Different products and services need different conversion strategies. A lot of marketers are completely clueless about this because they think there is only one cookie cutter or one size fits all solution to turning interest into sales. This is where they screw up because selling a sofa online is very different from trying to get American grooms looking for Filipina brides. These are two totally different sets of needs and you have to speak to them differently. In other words, your strategy has to fit the outcome you are looking for. There is no such thing as a one-size-fits-all conversion strategy. Different Conversion Strategies If you are selling a high-ticket item, let's say a gold IRA conversion kit which can involve hundreds of thousands of dollars, you need to take it slow. You need to basically drip-feed information to your audience so they can build trust over an extended period of time. And as they engage with your content and as they see your content again and again, that level of trust deepens until they go to the like stage and then before you know it, they get to the trust stage and then they buy. Of course, this is not guaranteed. This is not a slam dunk. But you have to get the process going considering the dollar value of the transaction. If you're looking for somebody to transfer their retirement fund worth hundreds of thousands of dollars from one fund to a gold fund that you're an affiliate of, you have to invest in a long funnel that builds trust over an extended period of time. On the other hand, if you're looking for a quick sale, your conversion funnel can be shorter. In other words, you can basically tell the reader if they're going to ship or get off the pot. It's pretty straightforward. For example, there's no need to create a mailing list for certain types of one-time use product. If people are just going to use a product once, either they want it or they don't, because if you're going to build a mailing list which sends them update after update, to try to remind them and push them closer and closer to the conversion end of the content funnel, you might not get there. It turns out that the reason why they got on your list in the first place is because they want your freebie or your lead magnet. There are very different conversion strategies, and each of these is manifested in different funnels. At the very least, there are three. Page only. This model just uses one page to convert traffic. It doesn't matter whether the traffic is free, organic, or paid. This conversion strategy just uses one page to convert the visitor. Pay attention to how sales pages are set up. They're quite clever. They would start with an attention-grabbing header, and then they would try to pull the reader down the page. They would use all sorts of tricks to build credibility and stoke demand for their product that is being pushed. They would use testimonials. They would use fancy graphs. Whatever the case may be, the idea is when a person manages to read all the way through that page, other people didn't make it all the way through. In other words, that page acted as a funnel. Basically, it filtered people who were not really all that serious. Usually, the people who really want to buy your stuff or who could be influenced to buy your stuff make it all the way through. That's how you should set up your conversion page. Content plus sales page. The content plus sales page model uses a variety of content using the KLT process, and once people end up on the T content pages, they are pushed to the conversion page. Generally speaking, the sales page that are tied into a series of content pages or a content funnel tend to be shorter. Why? Most of the heavy lifting is already done by the T content pages. By dumping them into a page-only type sales page, you might actually end up contradicting yourself or losing the attention of your potential buyer. At the very least, you run the risk of losing momentum, so don't do it. Content plus email capture page. This is pretty much the same as the category above, but instead of the sales page, it leads to an email capture page. Your product or service offering also determines your mailing list incentives. As I've mentioned above, you don't necessarily have to build a mailing list for all sales funnels. Forget what other self-proclaimed marketing gurus tell you. Some people would always tell you that you need to build a mailing list. Well, if your product is very specific and it's a one-time use, you can get by with just a sales pitch. You don't necessarily have to get a sales page that's plugged into by a network of content pages. It all depends on both your audience and product or service you are promoting.